I am inside of Dollar Tree and grabbing some wood pieces. I grab this large house wood plank, this checkerboard house, and another one of that, which is on the bottom, and we're gonna do something with it. I'm gonna be using a clay also from Dollar Tree, and I'm gonna be using some of my molds that I got in my crafting stash. I got those very cheap long time ago, and all I need is just a border so we can add to our houses. I'm just gonna use one design, which I think it's gonna look the best for my houses. And as you can see, super simple. I'm filling that portion that I like, and then remove the rest of the clay. And it's easy to work with gloves because this is a dark color of clay and if you don't work with gloves your hands will be mess and that's the border that i'm going for and as i mentioned i'm going to be making six of them because we're going to need them for my houses today now that i got the borders i'm going to add all the embellishment to my first house the clay borders gonna go on top of that as a roof is like a 3d dimension so i'm just cutting off the edges at a 45 degree angle and doing the same thing on the second frame as well since this is an outdoor decor i'm gonna be adding a cement glue and i think that's gonna work perfect we don't want to add a hot glue because that's gonna destroy the whole embellishments to it I'm doing the same thing on my second border using the same glue and also I'm gonna be adding this window in the middle wooden window I got this in my crafting stash since Christmas I made a lot of creations with it and I think it's gonna look just perfect for my house looking like a window and 3d dimension to my house I am also adding this little butterfly on the side of the roof and on top of the window and I think it's gonna give the extra 3D dimension to my house. First I was going to add one color then I changed my mind I added a wheat sage and then I also added a celery so first I'm gonna give a one coat to cover the whole house with the window and the butterfly and all that clay mold that we added as a roof then i'm gonna be adding salt wash i got this from semi from unicorn dust design and i'm gonna mix it just to give more texture to my house i'm gonna mix it all and i'm gonna give a, another coat to my house as well with mixing and adding this salt wash that's an extra texture and my sign my beautiful house it gives more rich look and it's not gonna look like we got this from Dollar Tree it's gonna look like we bought this from very high-end boutique gorgeous store I'm also gonna be adding this fence with flowers I paint them out as well and now when they're all nice and dry I'm gonna start playing around I added antique water stain first not too much just a little bit around the edges of the roof and on the window and also as the fence as well after i stain them all i'm gonna use a wipe wipe it off so i can get that rustic look to it and it's gonna look super super cute sometimes i like to play with colors and all those stains and waxes and i think adding more colors to it it gives the more rich look to it now i'm just adding this metallic lilac lavender finish and i'm just going with the fingers around those edges 3d edges on my roof and on the window and on the butterfly as well around the whole house i'm doing the same thing on the fence so we can get that beautiful ombre look as you can see we got a mixture of a celery lavender i'm also gonna add some gold to it gold finish look and i'm doing the same thing with it as well more colors more richer look and that's what i'm going for 
I hope you like it because it really looks cute. Maybe sometimes the camera is not fair and is not showing all those details to it, but up close it looks so, so cute. Now my creations wouldn't be nothing if I don't add some Rabon transfers. So I'm gonna be using these beautiful birdies transfers. I got them online. I can't remember from where. If I find the link, I'll put it on my description box. And I'm gonna be adding those little birdies. I separate them. I put one on the bottom of my window and one on top of the window. And super simple and easy. I just use the scraper and I just transfer those beautiful birdies on my windows. Also for inside in the middle of the window, I added those flowers that came in this set as well. And I think giving more details with those flowers is just a perfect summer look. Let me know what do you think so far. I am also adding a white DIY wax. I just grab a towel and I'm just rubbing it off. And I think with this I'm going to seal all my decor. And just going around that and giving it more texture to my look. More colors more wax <laughs> and my creation is gonna look perfect i did the same thing on my flower fence as well before i add them all together and that's it for this part now i'm also going with a towel make sure everything is nice and smooth i'm also adding a foam and that's gonna go on the bottom of my house I got also this foam from Dollar Tree. I'm just cutting it off with this spatula. It's just a perfect easy way to cut it off. And now I'm just gluing them with my cement glue again. That's gonna go right there. And now I'm gonna cover my foam with this beautiful preserved moss to look like we have a natural beautiful flowers there and now on top of that moss I'm gonna be adding my garden fence and all I need is three of them I thought I'm gonna need more of them but just adding that moss it's not needed to be added more of these fence so three of them are just perfect and I think in one package they're coming the set of a six and just like that we got that part done and now i'm just gonna be adding some hanging leaves i just made them in a u shape on top as you can see I'm just making a u shape so i can make this beautiful leaf just hanging around the balcony of my house so it looks like this is the front of the house and the fence where is the fence that's the balcony and we have the leaves hanging in there that was my idea and i think it came right as my idea was in my head <laughs> you gotta let me know what do you think also on top of it, the chimney i'm just gonna add this uh, lilacs or lavenders with uh, some of my eclipses leaves just like that just to give a little bit of detail on top of that so it can be more colorful and more i also added some moss on it and now to hang my house i'm gonna be adding this twine ribbon i'm just gonna cut a portion of that i'm also gonna be adding this wooden ring that i got from dollar tree and on the back i didn't show it but i staple gun it to make it nice and sturdy and that's it let me know what do you think you're gonna see the final reveal after the other two houses are done today i'm a part of what would you make challenge is hosted by my darling friends zayna coney and this month guest host is krista Okay, at home DIY Zaina and Kony from Kony's Woodshop and DIYs, they're hosting this monthly, end of the month, each month. And this month, guest host is Krista with Krista Crafty. 
live and also there is a playlist all links in my description box for the next two houses i'm gonna be removing the fabric with the border and i'm just using this spatula and it's so easy to remove the whole fabric out with the border on top of it and when i remove the whole fabric with it on the edges i'm just gonna cut it off with a cutter i mean i could have used the heating gun but i think it was super fast to do it like this and now with this cutter roller cutter i'm just going around the edges to remove the top as well I'm gonna sand it out very well with my sponge sander and now the same thing that I did on my first house I'm gonna do on those houses as well adding this mold design clay mold I'm just cutting off the edges the same exact the same thing and we're gonna add them on as a roof on my houses as well I cut off the edges with the spatula, I just work perfectly. I'm gonna repeat the same thing on the second house and I'm gonna glue them with the cement glue as well. For these houses, I also made a small designs on my clay mold as well and I'm gonna be adding those after the roof on my houses before I paint them. Just like so, super simple and easy. Even if they gave me a hard time making this mold because this Dollar Tree clay, it's not just perfect, but it worked at the end. Now I'm just gonna be adding a hazelnut paint to the other mixture of the other paint that I use for my house and I'm just gonna all mix it together and I was just showing you the salt wash also, it's inside of it as well. And now with the brush, I'm just gonna cover the whole house with it. After they're all covered nice and dry, now we can decorate them. I'm gonna be adding the same process that I use for my large house. I'm adding a foam on the bottom of it, just two smaller pieces on each of my house. I'm gonna glue them and then we're gonna decorate them with a fence garden fence and some moss as well same thing like we did for my large house as well so we can have a nice three-piece set now that they're all nice and covered also i'm gonna be adding these birdies and this time i'm gonna be adding one larger bird on one side and then another larger bird on the other side of my house as well and i'm gonna put them between the mold and my garden fence and i think it's gonna look just perfect and these beautiful colors they are just screaming summer outdoor fun all those birdies singing with these flowers i just love it and as you can see i love summer when it's summer nobody can stop me right <laughs> and simple as that with my scraper my first birdie is transfer on one of my house and now doing the same thing on my second house and this is what i got so far let me know how do you like these beautiful colors i'm also going to be adding some floral on the side i got those in my crafting stash i'm not sure how do you call those flowers maybe they're i'm not gonna say even what they are i know some of them are lavenders those are lavenders i think but the white ones i'm not sure what are they I think any kind of floral that you can add to these pieces is going to look super beautiful. I also added a pieces of eclipses on the side just to give it a more richer texture to it. And I think it's going to look super cute. I also added to the bottom some beautiful purple flowers and some uh, white flowers as well just to have a nice beautiful garden. And also I repeat the same floral to my second house as well 
so we can have a match and now I'm just adding extra embellishment with the golden finish with the lavender finish the same way like we did the larger house earlier so we can have more 3d effect look to it and at the end I'm also gonna add that white DIY wax just to have more richer look to my colors and that's it for this DIY you gotta let me know what do you think and are you in love with those like I am in love with all of them if you're new here my name is C and this is CJ DIY and if you're old here <laughs> if you're here with me from day one I want to say I love you and thank you so much for taking your busy time of your day watching my videos and always giving me the best comments. I love you all from the bottom of my heart where we always create beautiful things and we always have lots of fun adventures and troubles. Now to finish it off, I'm also adding a white DIY wax and now with a towel I'm just rubbing it off and that's it I'm also making a hangers with a wooden ring and this twine ribbon as well and we're gonna add those beautiful houses next to the larger house and this is how it look in front of my house and it's just a perfect match I just love them and those greeneries looks like they're real plants they're just the perfect match for this time of the year I am at Dollar Tree again grabbing these glass jars and I'm gonna need two of them this time and after that I'm gonna be grabbing this wooden popsicle skewers from the crafting square I grabbed two of them and now I'm ready to create my next creations I'm gonna be adding those wooden popsicle sticks I just want to see how they're gonna match I just re move the cap from the jars and the only portion that I'm gonna cut of these popsicle sticks are just the bottom of it and I'm gonna layer them just like so and we're gonna cover my jars with it I use one of those tapes and I'm just gonna layer my sticks just like so and then after I got I think 15 of them feet enough just to cover the jar and it's the easier way to use the tape so you can just roll it just like so and we're gonna add a glue and we're gonna let it stand just like that super simple and easy DIY I'm adding one of those cement glues as well I'm using a sponge just so I can layer the glue better on my wooden pieces and after that I'm just gonna glue that around my jar and I'm gonna repeat the same thing to my second jar as well and we're gonna have nice beautiful wooden planters just like that after that when they're nice and glued I'm gonna remove the tape from it and we're gonna stain them with antique wax from Waverly and water water it down a little bit and with the sponge brush I just went over with it and then with a the wipe I'm just removing it and now I'm just gonna be adding a celery paint and I'm just gonna heavy distress my jars just like that 
and I was just testing those brushes just to see how they work and I really love those smooth brushes they're beautiful I also got those brushes from Semi from Unicorn Dust Design they're one of those DIY collection paints and brushes and I love them beautiful piece so you can work with and as you can see I covered the first jar with it not fully so we can get that antique look pick through it so we can get that rustic look and I'm gonna let them dry a little bit before I start adding more embellishment to it I just love how they look super simple but beautiful look now while they're drying I'm gonna be adding one of those foam easter eggs I'm just gonna cut them on a half and I'm gonna be using four of them I just use the sanding sponge just to send them out because from the foam they were not all straight and I'm gonna be doing the same thing on my other three foam eggs as well and as you can see I'm just creating some beautiful natural mushrooms and we're gonna have a nice beautiful decorative piece as well now I'm just gonna paint them and I'm using the same leftover paint that I was using for my projects today and I'm gonna cover my whole foam mushrooms with it now when they're all nice and dry I'm gonna be adding some details to it and simple doesn't need to be perfect I'm just adding some dots with uh, some lighter paint to it and the uh, end of my brush as you can see they don't need to be perfect we're just trying to make like a natural look of a mushroom and it's gonna look a beautiful decorative piece and I'm gonna do the same thing to my other three mushrooms as well and also I'm gonna be adding a skewers which I added antique wax on them as well and we're gonna add them to my wooden jars that we made and now when they're all nice and ready I am ready to decorate them for my jars I'm also in the middle I'm just adding this twine ribbon just for extra embellishment I just tie it and just made a simple bow and I'm gonna glue it in the middle and I'm gonna do the same thing on my second jar as well just a simple two two lace bow just like that and just adding simple embellishment and I think this beautiful color is just the matching with the forest with a nice summer look rustic I love it inside I'm just gluing some foam so we can add some greeneries to it and doing the same thing to my second jar as well So for each jar we got two mushrooms, one is going to be taller and one is going to be shorter. Now I just added one piece of a floral on the side and doing the same thing on my second jar and then some eclipses and i don't want to put more greeneries or more floral i think it just looks super cute more simple and i'm gonna fill it out with the moss and that's it for this creation super simple but very high-end look you can leave it as a decorative piece on your vignette on your table or you can leave it outside doesn't matter it's such a beautiful decorative piece and thank you so much for stopping by today, taking time of your day watching my video. I really love you and I hope you enjoy all my creations today. Let me know, give me your thoughts. And until next time, which is going to be Tuesday, I'm going to try to upload two videos on Tuesday. So stay tuned. I'm sending you lots of love, lots of music, positive energy, blessings from me to you. Bye-bye.